Hey everybody, and we are here as you can see my crock pot. It's hot, so I don't want to touch it. We are doing a hot process soap. Um, I've got a couple requests for from some subscribers um, to show how I do a hot process soap start to finish. So we are going to go through the entire process of weighing out our oils, doing our lye, stick blending, going through the stages, cooking it, um, coloring it, and all that. Uh, I am giving you guys a free recipe, so this recipe is free. Um, this is a hot process recipe with a 0% super fat. Here is my super fats that I will put in after the cook. I've been trying to do this video. It's like my third time trying to do this video, y'all. So hopefully it works out in the end. Alright, so the oils that we're using today is castor oil, coconut oil, lard, corn oil, and steric acid. Corn oil is so good for your skin. It's, it's I don't know, the moisturizing factor that corn oil has is just amazing. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Let me turn my scale on here. First thing we're going to do is coconut oil. This is organic, naturally um, refined coconut oil. And we are going to need 11.7 ounces of it. And all I have is this little bitty spoon because all of our spoons have disappeared in this house. I have no clue where they've went. Ugh. It's bending the spoon here. Because this coconut oil is hard. Alright, there's 9.9. .9. And what do we need? 11.7. 10. 11.6. Oh, come on. 11.7. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, so I am going to give you the percentages. We are doing a 10% super fat. And the reason why we're doing such a high super fat is because my coconut oil is high. Um, whenever you have a higher amount of coconut oil, you need to raise your super fat. Because if not, it will be really drying to the skin. So our castor oil is at 10%. Our coconut oil is at 28%. That will give it a good stable lather and cleansing ability. And then we got lard at 10%, corn oil at 42%, and then steric acid at 10%. Anytime I make um, hot processed soap, I use steric acid. So let's go ahead and get the coconut oil going. My crock pot is very hot, so it shouldn't take long to melt at. But we're going to do our hard oils first. So there's that. Now for our lard. Don't be scared to use lard, y'all. Lard is a good ingredient for soaps. And that's at 10%, so we need 4 ounces, 4.2 ounces. Four point one. Oh, come on. 4.2. There we go. Splatter it everywhere, Crystal. Alright, so there is our hard oils. We'll measure out the steric acid in a separate container. Because this one is um, got oils in it. Alright, now for our castor oil, which is 4.2 ounces. And I'm running out of castor oil, y'all. I'm going to have to order some more. Four point, well, 4.3. That will be all right. It's not going to kill it. I can't scrape all of it out of there anyway. All right, now for our corn oil, it's going to be 17.5. Perfect, 17.5. And if you guys want to use soybean oil, you can substitute the corn oil for the soybean oil. I would just run it through a lie calculator first 
that's just me. Oh, I still need to get my stearic acid. Let's go ahead and get our um, oils in there. Scrape it out. Or you could use olive oil if you want to use olive oil. But these oils are all great oils. And they turn... Um, they turn into soap, so that's the main thing. But I just like the moisturizing ability that the corn oil has with the hot process. I don't use corn oil with cold process. I only use it with hot process. Don't ask me why. There's just a difference. And I can tell the difference. So I only use it for hot process. But it's an excellent oil to use. So that is melting down nicely. Alright, now we need my steric acid and I've got it in this oh lord this big old box and how many how much do we need okay we need 4.2 ounces of it as well and I know one of these little things is one ounce exactly so we're still going to measure it out though Point two, three point four, almost perfect. So let me stir this up real quick and then we're going to let all this melt down. I want it to get to about 160 degrees. I don't want it any um, hotter than that. And all this will melt down. So as soon as we get done melting down and uh, I get ready for my live, we'll bring you back guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're not at 160 yet, but we are close enough. So uh, I've in here, I've got distilled water in my silk, and I've got my lye weight out. Um, I cut back four ounces from the water weight to add some coconut milk in at the end of the cook. It'll make it just a little bit more fluid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my, oh, I need another spatula. I'm going to go ahead and add the um, lye to my water here. And then I'm going to stick blend it because there's silk in here. And I'm going to go ahead and be dumping the lye straight into the hot oils. The hot lye into the hot oils. So I'm going to need that um, silk to break up so I'm going to have to stick blend it in order to do that. But first, I am backing away from it, and I'm stirring it, making sure it's dissolved. I should have my gloves on. I'll put them on in a minute. When I start working with the soap, I'll have them on. But I'm just going to stir this and let it set for a minute. Make sure it's good and dissolved. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my um, crock pot down to keep warm because once I add this hot lye, the temperature is going to shoot up. Okay, that's good and stirred. Can you turn the music off, please? It's going to copyright me. No, yes, it will. I'm the one singing. No, you're I'm not. I'm just that good of a singer. I am. God. If I can get these gloves on, we'll be all right. All right. There we go. Gloves are on. That looks good and clear. We're going to stick blend it just for a second to make sure um, we get the silk good and 
um, broke up. <laughs> my oils is some kaolin clay and then we're going to mix that up before I add the lye so there's a heaping tablespoon and just a little bit extra so let's get that out of there I'm going to move this closer to me a little bit And now we're just going to add our lye, add our hot lye to our hot oils, and then I want to rinse this out so I have something for my stick blender. Run run about that your title and I'm I'm about to get mad. Up there. Huh? Up there. I'm not driving all the way up there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and it's gonna mash potato up on me because there's steric acid in it. Yes. See if it is. temperature see what we're at yeah we see we've jumped up to 173 so we are good as far as cooking goes you don't have to have it at no 200 and something degrees to cook your hot process guys okay There we go. It's good and mixed. It's really thick. And that's because of the steric acid, but we don't worry. Everything is mixed together. I'll get my sides down. Alright, so we're going to put the lid on it. And then we're going to let it uh, cook for a minute. And then when it comes to the next stage, we'll be back and I'll show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. You see that? That happened within seconds. Do not walk away from your hot process soap. That was within seconds, guys. So we're just stirring it down. Hot process will volcano on you. You just got to stir it down to get it to stop. Sometimes it'll volcano right away. Sometimes it won't. It just depends on how hot your crock pot is 
and how hot your batter is. That's why I don't like to cook hot process at very, very high temperatures at like 200 and plus because it just it causes more problems. It does more volcanoing. And that's stuff we don't want it to do. So this is the applesauce stage. This is what's called the applesauce stage. And it's kind of runny like applesauce, if you can see. And we're going to continue to stir. I stir a lot on my hot processes. Um, I know you'll get a lot of people tell you to leave it alone. But I don't. I stir, stir, stir. I stir a lot um, when I cook hot process soap. That is just my own personal choice. I feel that um, the batter gets fluid, more, more fluid. Um, the more you stir, uh, the less um, hard pieces you'll get on the sides of the crock pot. And that means less hard pieces in your soap finished products. Hey, Lisa, did you get my mold? You get which one? The white one, my Central Depot mold. I don't know the Central Depot mold. The white one that goes in the basket. The basket? Yeah, it should be right there. Okay, will you get it, please? Uh, yes. So we're just stirring. Okay. And I do what's called stick blender hot process. When it gets to a certain point, I start to stick blend. And that just brings it along even further, and it makes it cook like that. So when we get to that point, I will let you know. Right now, we're still at the applesauce stage. I'm going to move that over there. And I'm going to keep a very close eye on my batter. Make sure it doesn't rise again. The next stage should be mashed potato stage. And then once we hit that, it's going to be a, like a, not a runny mashed potato, but like a thin mashed potato. And then that's when I stick blend. So we will come back as soon as that happens guys, so stay tuned. Okay, so it's time to stick blend. And this is when um, it will volcano again, so get your spatula ready because it will volcano up on you. And I am going to stick blend through all the stages and we're going to be done here shortly. Got my spatula ready. start the volcano that's when you know to stop stick blending and stir all right it's volcanoing and I'm gonna let it do it for a minute because um, that means that the lye is being cooked out of it you want it to volcano that means your lye is being cooked out I'm just not gonna let it go you know completely to the top I will catch it before it um, goes overboard, but I want it to do this. I want it to volcano, and I want it. I mean, because it's gonna. That's what it's doing. It's cooking the lye. It's cooking the soap. It's making the oils and turning it into soap. So let's go ahead and stir it down now. And sometimes I have to stick blend two or three times. Sometimes I only have to stick blend once. So this one we're gonna have to stick blend again. Making soap. Yeah, it means your voice is 
Oh, my voice is not annoying. Do you guys think my voice is annoying? I don't think it's annoying. Yes. My daughter's giving me a hard time. I'm joking. I know. See, it's rising to the top. It is doing its thing. It's not going over. I'm not giving you a hard time because I have my halos right now. We just went grocery shopping and she got her some halos. Hey, at least that's fruit. It's something good for her. Now, the longer I let this sit here and bubble in Volcano for a minute, the less I got a stick blend. So, I'm going to let it do its thing for a minute and I'm not going to stir it just yet. Yeah, I need it here in just a minute. Let's, that's why I asked you for it. Alright. Ooh, that was hot. And, nope, I'm not going to need to stick blend again. As you can see, this is becoming Vaseline, and it's still really nice and fluid. So at this point, I let it cook for about 10 more minutes, like this. Make sure that all of it gets to the Vaseline stage. See, wasn't that fast? Fast fast cooking hot process. No more cooking it for hours on the end. There's no need to cook your hot process for hours. So, scrape the edges down. Alright, we're going to put our lid back on. Let it cook for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. And then we're going to come back and that's when we're going to start our super facts, guys. So while this is cooking, I'm going to get my colorants ready. We're going to do an in the pot swirl with our hot process. And then um, we will mold it and we'll see what it looks like from then. So stay tuned, guys. Now done with the colorants. We're going to go ahead and put our um, super facts in. Which is shea butter and mango butter. Let me scrape it out. Get all that goodness in there. Alright. I just got to mix it up a little bit because these are hard butters. So they need to melt. And they're melting slowly but surely so now we need to give this time to melt and while it's melting I'm gonna go ahead and get our coconut milk ready and I do a little bit of coconut milk and then a little bit of cream. Scrape our sides down. Alright, so super fats are melting. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep the camera rolling because um, I'm just going to keep it rolling. So while that is heating up, I'm going to stir... See if our super fats have melted and it looks like they have. And once we get this coconut milk in, it'll loosen up a lot. I'm going to go ahead and add some glycerin and some sodium lactate.
So here's our glycerin and sodium lactate. That's just my cell phone going off, guys. Alright. Stir that in. Sodium lactate is a humectant as, long, as well as the glycerin. And it help with the fluidity of it, too. See, it's already getting more fluid. Alright, let me get the coconut milk. Go ahead and pour that in there. And get that all stirred up. I'm going to turn my crock pot off. Now the more we stir, the more fluid it's going to get. See, look how fluid that is compared to how it was just a minute ago. Let me set this over here. It's getting nice and fluid. It's not like cold process fluid, but it's fluid for being hot process. Let me check the temperature on it because we are going to be adding some fragrance. I can go ahead and add the fragrance now. Sometimes the fragrance makes it go back. Sometimes it don't. So it just really depends. And then we're going to add our colors to the different parts of the pot. Hey, Lisa. Never mind. We're going to add our colors to the different pot parts of the, um, the soap here. And we're going to do it in the pot swirl inside of the hot process in here and it's going to look pretty nothing never mind so our fragrance has made it go back thick but that's okay about 80 percent of them do that but i'm going to make sure it's good and stirred in Okay, so now it's time to um, do our in the pot swirl. So I'm going to make a little pocket right here. There's my little pocket. And where's that? There's that. First, we're going to put in blue. I'm taking a shower in your bathroom. All right. I love doing it in the pot swirl with the hot process like this. It makes it so pretty. Alright, there's the blue. Now, right here, I want to make a pocket. And we're going to make purple. Alright, 
there's the purple and then last but not least our teal I made a mess making these got it mixed in so now what we do is we just take our spatula and we just go around and around and around and that is it we don't go around too many times with some uncolored soap all right all right give me my dry out my um my mold here guys it was just washed okay it's in there now what we do is we just scoop it and plop it and I think I'm gonna need a spoon or a bigger spoon here my ladle. Aha! Here it is. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Don't want any uncolored soap there. I'm just gonna scrape down our sides. to do is just do that and do a little chop across and it gives it a little bit of a luxurious look and I think I'm gonna put some sparkle on this one because it is dancing with the stars so we need sparkle. Alright. Look how sparkly I am. Alright guys. So here is our Dancing with the Stars hot process soap. Oh my gosh. It smells good. And my bowl is clean. That is awesome. So, we are going to let this set overnight, guys, and then we're going to give her a cut tomorrow. So, stay tuned for the cut. Hey everybody, Crystal here, and we are back to cut the Dancing with the Stars. It's still in the mold, and I thought I would just show you how I get it out of the mold. So, what I do is I flip it upside down, and I get the silicone out of the basket. I love these little molds from um, uh, Essential Depot. And it looks like I've got some mica 
on there. So I'm just going to wipe it off. How I done that, I have no idea. And then we flip it back over and then we just pull, tug at the sides. And then flip it back and just gently press down. And here is our soap. Looks good, doesn't it? Alright. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy cut. That's good. The ends are nice and straight, so I'm not going to get an end piece. Look how pretty that looks. Might be cutting a little bit too small. Nope, that's good. Isn't that in the pot swirl pretty? And there is going to be some uncolored soap going to show through, but I think it just gives it character. guys my um my camera died on me I should I never check the battery which I should and I made this one a little bit um uh larger than the batches I usually make so the bars are, are a little bit bigger I just wanted to see what it would uh, what they would look like with a larger batch because with this essential depot mold you can do um several different sizes of bars and I did um I usually do three and a half pounds with that mold but um I wanted to see what four pounds would look like and it is an awful big bar so I think I'm gonna keep it at three and a half pounds I'm loving how this turned out I love doing it in the pot swirl with a hot process And, oh, it smells good. Oops, I just really hit it. I think it smells really good. This is going to be an awesome bar of soap, guys. And I'll go over the um, recipe again with you um, before I go. That way... And I'll put it in the description box below. And last piece. Alright guys. So. The, um, the recipe is. Castor oil. 10%. Coconut oil, 28%. Lard is 10%. Corn oil is 42%. And steric acid is 10%. Um, you can leave the steric acid out if you don't have steric acid and just up the lard. Um, and, and, and if you don't like working with um, lard, you can substitute the lard for palm oil. I would just um, run it through a lie calculator. Every time you get a recipe, no matter if it's right there, plain as day, tells you what to put on there, run it through a lie calculator just to be safe. So if you want to get rid of the steric acid, up the lard. If you don't want lard, use palm oil. So castor oil, 10%. Coconut oil, 28%. Lard, 10%. Corn oil, 42%. Steric acid, 10%. 
and then I did a zero percent super fat while while the um for the base oils and I super fatted the um base oils myself with shea butter and mango butter I t I um I super fatted it at ten percent. The reason why I did such a high super fat is because we've got a high amount of coconut oil, and coconut too much coconut oil can be very drying to the skin. So in order to counteract that, you got to raise the super fat. So if you've ever heard of pure coconut oil soap, they've got a super fat of like twenty five percent, and that's the reason why. So anytime you're using a higher amount of coconut oil, you want to raise your super fat to counteract the dryness that it causes so I will put that in the um, description box below um, so you guys can um, and try that out for yourself um, just to show you the bar qualities for this soap uh, hardness is at a 42 cleansing is at a 19 which is really good conditioning is at a 53 which is really good bubbly is at a 28 which is awesome Creamies out of 32, which is awesome. Iodine and INS is underneath what it's supposed to be. It's at 66 and 144. So this has got um, oil all over it, but am I too close? You guys can see that. So that may, so those are very good qualities that a bar should have. Um, that recipe is awesome. Um, the qualities of it on paper looks awesome so we'll you know uh, and I'll try it out uh, washing my hands with the soap and stuff but that's something I wanted you to share with you guys as a recipe I wanted to give back because you guys have been so great in supporting me through this hard time so I kind of wanted to give back to you and show you a good hot process recipe that I love um, I use this hot process recipe all the time and it's a really good recipe so, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the description box below. Please like and comment, and don't forget to click the little bell beside subscribe. That way, when a new video uploads, um, you will get notified, and you'll be able to see it. Alright, guys, so till the next video, bye-bye.